When Netflix suffered its subscriber pullback worldwide, only one region showed growth: Asia. Home to half of the world's population, Asia is a market where hundreds of millions of subscribers could still be up for grabs. Netflix received success in K content, but also faced censorship due to cultural conflicts. You may know Netflix, but you may not know how is it in Asia. Today, let's find it out. Netflix is focused to spend 1.9 billion dollars on local content in Asia Pacific region in 2023. That means 15 percent higher than last year. Netflix increases its investment in Asia because the numbers of subscribers added 5.4 million in this region last year, as growth starts to drag in the U.S. and Europe. And besides, Netflix Asian content is getting global impact. Leading Japanese anime together with Korean dramas, as well as Indian movies, have ranked among the global top titles over the past years. K drama and shows give us too many surprises. From the global hit Squid Game to single Inferno Physical 100, now the glory this year keeps gaining international success. Squid Game was number one on Netflix in 94 countries around the world in 2021. Last year, Netflix released 29 exclusive Korean dramas, of which six were among the top 10 Asian titles in APEC in 2022. As Korean wave expands, South Korea remains the largest Asian destination for Netflix content dollars, with 2.5 billion dollars expected in next four years. Netflix customers in Asia are also some of its lowest value ones, especially after the mobile-only plan was introduced in Asia in 2017. Mobile-only plan is a special package for some Asian countries. It allows you to access Netflix titles only on mobile and tablet. In India, the mobile-only plan costs 169 rupees, that's one dollar and eighty cents per month. Well, in North America, the lowest plan costs six dollars and ninety-nine cents per month. Netflix faced cultural and political challenges in penetrating Southeast Asia. The series A Suitable Boy triggered controversy in India over a scene showing Hindu female protagonist kissing a Muslim man at a Hindu temple. The Philippines has pulled an Australian drama for showing maps of South China Sea that officials cite violated Philippine sovereignty. Indonesia is pushing Parliament to oversight LGBTQ content. Of the 18 titles that Netflix agreed to block in part or in full from 2016 to 2021, more than half were requested by the governments in Southeast Asia. That one is easy. Netflix is not available in China. In 2021, Netflix stopped five million minutes of programming, and it may surprise you that more people choose to watch the great game dubbed over the subtitled version on Netflix. As Netflix expands its international programming, dubbing helps making more shows accessible to viewers who don't like to or can't read subtitles. Netflix faces keen competition from global giants such as Amazon and Disney, as well as competition from local companies in Asia. Hong Kong-based View is now available in 16 markets across Southeast Asia and the Middle East. It offers an extensive library of Korean content and a free subscription tier. Homegrown services still rule supreme in India, where Netflix make up only 3% of streaming accounts. The most popular services there are Alphalaji, Aerial Now, and Disney Plus. That's a quick look of Netflix in Asia. My channel focuses on Asia's innovations and cultures. Be free to drop a like or subscribe for more interesting content. I'm Ichi. See you in next video. Bye. Political.